Hi all, welcome back to our channel My Bio Notes. So in the video la, nama the packaging of our DNA helix pati da paakaporo. So let's see how the DNA is packed inside a cell, inside the nucleus of a cell. So video ko la pora dukh monadi channel subscribe subscribe panna daunga subscribe paniyenga and also in the video ungul purchinda like paniyenga share paniyenga and also bell button click paniyenga. Pada nangay da video pota ungul notification la varu. So wanga let's see about the packaging of the DNA helix. So if you see in a typical mammalian cell or length of the DNA evlorko approximately abdina, it is about 2.2 meter. So if you long arka kudya or DNA every or a cell kular ka nucleus la pack airka abdin the padida paka poro. So it is the packaging that uh, compact pack agranalada evlon longer DNA easier or a cell cooler nucleus la irka uh, mudida ilana evlo length it is in meter see the unit it is in meters see uh, uh, imagine how long the DNA helix will be so but it is inside a nucleus la or cell cooler evlo period DNA let's see how it is packed so let's take the prokaryotes how the pro in prokaryotes la how the DNA is uh, Prokaryotes nale carry on means nucleus, pro means false nucleus. So it contains a false nucleus, not a true nucleus. Here, how they are packed in Patina DNA, the negatively charged DNA they are held by the positively charged proteins in this case. So they are present in the region known as the nucleoid. So nucleoid resembles the nucleus. So in this region, the DNA with the proteins is arranged. So just it is not uh, so D DNA is no so in just full of scatter I go full I go abla solomodi other it is in a particular region which is known as the nucleoid. So how they are organized in Patina they are organized as large loops held by the protein. So as you can see in the picture that they are as large loops. So nucleoid you also you can see in the picture which contains the chromosomal DNA and also you can see the plasmid DNA which is an independent DNA molecule it will be circular in nature. So next step next we will see about the eukaryotes uh, packaging of the DNA. So in eukaryotes how the DNA will be packed in Patina through histones. So histones these are the protein so they are basically positively charged ba uh, basic protein so as i said in uh, prokaryotes layer on the protein will be positively charged so layer, dna will be negatively charged so in this case histone eukaryotes lay involved so uh, as you all know eukaryotic cell nala it is complex when compared to a prokaryotic cell so the packaging is also very complex and uh, so here you have this histones so this how we are saying the charge of a protein so here in this case they are saying his stone is positively charged no how they are saying it yeah the one on the money charge positive abdin sol ro abdin sol erthikittinga abdina evlo rich a irukku endha amino acid and the protein la adhigama irukku endha amino acid abundant a irukku and the particular protein la in the amino acid which amino acid is abundant other portha the and the charge of the protein one the amid so in the abundance of amino acid residues in case of histone pathing in abdina they are rich in basic amino acid which are lysine and arginine so it is uh, rich in lysine and arginine amino acid so these are the amino acids which are basic amino acids so they this amino acid residues no they carry the positive charge that is side chain la, it will contain a positive charge so other part da, we are saying this as a pot positively charged basic protein based on this amino acid present in this protein so this histone plays a major role in this packaging uh, of this DNA coming to histone octamer so octa means as you all know it is 8 octa means 8 
ஸோ இந்த ஹிஸ்டோன் ஆக்டாமர் எப்படி அப்படின்னா என்னென்னா இந்த ஹிஸ்டோன் ப்ரோட்டீன் இருக்குது இல்லையா ஸோ தே ஆர் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் டு ஃபார்ம் யூனிட் ஆஃப் எயிட் மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் ஸோ எயிட் மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் வந்து ஆர்கனைஸ் ஆகி அரேஞ்ச் ஆகுது ஸோ அதுக்கு பேர் தான் ஹிஸ்டோன் ஆக்டாமர் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க ஸோ ஹிஸ்டோன் ஆக்டாமர் யூ கேன் சி இந்த பிக்சர் ஸோ இதில் வந்து ஹிஸ்டோன்னா என்னென்னா இட் இஸ் அ ஆஸ் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி மென்ஷன் இட் இஸ் பாசிட்டிவ்லி சார்ஜ் பேசிக் ப்ரோட்டீன் அது தவிர இட் இஸ் அ வாட்டர் சால்யூபிள் ஆல்கலைன் ப்ரோட்டீன் இன் நியூக்ளியஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் வேர் த டிஎன்ஏ டைட்லி காயில்ஸ் அரவுண்ட் ஸோ இது சுற்றி தான் யூ கேன் சி ஸோ டைட்லி காயில் ஆகுது அந்த டிஎன்ஏ அரவுண்ட் டு ஃபார்ம் த நியூக்ளியோசோம் ஸோ இட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் த நியூக்ளியோசோம் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்டோன் ஸோ ஹிஸ்டோன்லே வி ஹாவ் ஃபைவ் ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்டோன் ஸோ ஃபைவ் ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்டோன்ஸ் இருக்குது வாட் ஆர் தேனா ஹெச் ஒன் ஹெச் டூ ஏ ஹெச் டூ பி ஹெச் த்ரீ அண்ட் ஹெச் ஃபோர் ஸோ இதில் ஃபைவ் ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்டோன் இருக்குது தே ஆர் ஹெச் ஒன் ஹெச் டூ ஏ அண்ட் ஹெச் டூ பி ஸோ ஹெச் டூலேயே ஹெச் டூ ஏ இருக்குது அண்ட் ஹெச் ஹெச் டூ பி இருக்குது அண்ட் ஹெச் த்ரீ அண்ட் ஹெச் ஃபோர் ஸோ திஸ் ஆர் த ஃபைவ் ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்டோன் ஸோ இதை வச்சு தான் அந்த டிஎன்ஏ வந்து பேக்கேஜிங் ஆகுது ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அபவுட் ஹிஸ்டோன் ஸோ இது யூ கேன் சி இந்த பிக்சர் த நியூக்ளியோசோம் ஸோ இட் இதில் ஹெயிட் எயிட் ஹிஸ்டோன் மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் வித் ஒன் ஃபோர் சிக்ஸ் நியூக்ளியோட்டைட் பேஸ் ஆஃப் டிஎன்ஏ இருக்குது ஸோ இதில் ஹிஸ்டோ அந்த ஹெச் டூ அந்த இதெல்லாம் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஹிஸ்டோன்ஸு வி ஹாவ் த லிங்கர் டிஎன்ஏ ஸோ லிங்கர் டிஎன்ஏ ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இன் மை நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைடு ஸோ ஒரு நியூக்ளியோசோம் இன்னொரு நியூக்ளியோசோமில் கூட எப்படி கனெக்ட் ஆகுதுன்னா வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் த லிங்கர் டிஎன்ஏ so that we will discuss in our next slide so what is a nucleosome so as as a, i said in this picture negative charge dna vand they wrap around the positive charge histone octama which is known as a nucleosome so you must be thorough with the terms what is a histone what is a histone octama what is a nucleosome so you must know so in the terms romba important so nucleosome with the histone the dna with the histone is known as the nucleosome next we will move on to the next picture so in this picture the whole packaging of the dna you can see in this picture so at the simplest level la or dna so it is a double stranded helical structure of a dna you can see you can say it as a naked so it is naked so in that la end histone end protein un la it's just the dna nothing but a dna so it is 2 nanometer in in the length pathina 2 nanometer nu kuduthirukanga and uh, in the second step la pathinga appadina dna is complex with histone to form nucleosome so as i already already mentioned what is a nucleosome dna with the histone we call it as a nucleosome so here you can see the histone with the dna so so a nucleosome core of eight histone molecules is formed by this packaging mechanism so each nucleosome consists of eight as i already said eight histone proteins irukku idla around which the dna wraps 1.65 times so 1.65 times idu vand wrap aagum and next coming a uh, chroma uh, what is a chromatosome so chromatosome nu onna solranga what is a chromatosome so it is nothing but it consists of a so chromatosome abdina enna na pathina it consists of a nucleosome or a nucleosome plus h1 histone so or nucleosome and the h1 nama five families of histone pathona or nucleosome or h1 histone uh, protein is known as the chromatosome you can see in this picture that h histone h1 next the nucleosome folds up to produce 30 nanometer fiber so as the packaging akaraga uh, akaraga the nanometer gets increased first 11 nanometer irukku next vandu first nama 2 nanometer la start pannom illaya 
next now you can see the 11 nanometer irukku idu adukapro packaging aga aga it becomes 30 nanometer next that forms loop averaging 300 now it has come to 300 nanometer in length again the 300 nanometer fibers are compressed again they are compressed Ad, other thirupi compress panite fold aite to produce a 250 nanometer wide fiber 250 nanometer wide fiber form agudhu and uh, next tight coiling of the 250 nanometer fiber produces the chromatid of a chromosome so you can see the chromatid of the chromosome so ipa vandu adu 250 nanometer la it has gone to 1400 nanometer so ipidha or tight co coiling or compaction nadandu avlo length a irukka kudiya or dna it gets packed next uh, nucleosome la how much uh, dna is getting packed nu pathina 200 base pair of dna double helix is packed so like this we can uh, typical nucleosome our typical nucleosome la so nucleosome as you all know the histone protein plus the DNA. So on the nucleosome la yellow base pair of uh, DNA you can see up 200 base pair of DNA or typical nucleosome la. So nucleosome da or uh, actually it is a repeating unit. So it is a repeating unit of structure in the nucleus that you call it as a chromatid. So nucleosome repeating unit nucleosome repeat nucleosome that you call it as a chromatid. In no first histone motor the DNA could a histone pack I we call it by the term nucleosome. If a nucleosome same they form the chromatid. So it is a repeating what is a chromatid na? It is a repeating unit of structure in the nucleus, which is nothing but the nucleosome and the nucleosome or repeat. And it is a thread like stained bodies in the nucleus. So nucleosome in chromatin. If you see an, under an electron micrograph. So electron micrograph la pakamode. You can see in as, as a beads on a string structure. Or bead one the strings la ebdi arrange ayirko. Or money one the ebdi arrange. You can see in the picture or bead on a string model here. So abdi da arko or electron micrograph graph la ninga paakumbodhu so you can uh, see the dna then comes the histone for the packaging they form the nucleosome next the nucleosome is formed after nucleosome the chromatin fiber is formed then chromatids so chromatids la the nucleosome repeating unit irukku and uh, finally chromosome that same picture uh, so you have the helix uh, here then beads on the string to from chromatin next uh, th 30 nanometer chromatin packed nucleosomes you can see next is section of chromosome in an extended form you can see condensed sec section of metaphase chromosome you can see here an entire metaphase chromosome so here you can see the increase in the nanometer so nariya dna is getting packed first you can see this 2 nanometer dna then then 11 nanometer so it is getting packed like this compactly in the cell so this string uh, model i said no beads on a string model it will it will be like this only and the beads every or string la arrange irukum in the same way the nucleo so will look like this so in the beads on a string model they is packed so in the chromatin la the beads on a string structure ruko. so it is packed to form the chromatin fibers in the picture la path only yeah. next comes the chromatin fibers and again it is coiled and condensed to form the chromosome 
so you can see the two nanometer diameter of dna then you can see the bead on a string uh, in this picture here this is the linker dna or nucleosome inner nucleosome kuda connect aagradhuk help pandrathu da in the nuclear dna in the part vandu inner part kuda connect aagradhuk in the linker dna help pannum just as a link so in the nucleosome it is 10 nanometer in diameter next tight helical fiber is formed which is 30 nanometer in diameter and next the super coiling occurs 300 nanometer diameter and next the chromatids of the chromosome are formed so non histone proteins non histone proteins na they are the additional set of proteins for higher level of chromatin packaging in no higher level of packaging ku this non histone proteins will be involved just know the term what are non histone proteins coming to u chromatin it is the region of the chromatin which are loosely packed so man man packaging pathi paathom illa so and packaging la loose a pack ana region we call it as a u chromatin so they they stain light so since they are loosely packed staining as you ninga lab la panni panirpinga staining pannumbodhu it will be light so it stains light and it is transcriptionally active ah irukum obviously ena idu loose ah irukku so idu pack aagilla so transcription occur aagala idla so it is transcriptionally active what in case of heterochromatin what is a heterochromatin paathinga appadina so it is densely packed so in the case la idu dense ah pack a irukku so idu vandu strain dark ah strain aagum staining pannumbodhu so ena idu compact ah pack a irukku so nama staining pannumbodhu dark ah da theriyum and idu pack a irukanaala transcription inga occur aagradhu kashtam da so it is inactive transcriptionally inactive this u chromatin so so next So that's it. Thank you all for watching my video. If you like this video, please like and share it and also bell button click. If you like this video, you will get a notification. Happy learning to you all. Thank you.